Welcome back, everybody. Well, we're going to do a recap before we get this party started. So let's take a look at what we're looking for. First off, we're looking for round shaded areas in the sky like this one. Also, to find these round shaded areas, you just look for lack of illuminated clouds and darker shades of blue in the sky. Like this one I've circled and shown you. Planet's dark side. You know, you can see these darker areas up in the sky. Great big darker areas in the sky that should be illuminated. After the sun goes down, they tend to brighten up. Sometimes you can catch them with the moon just sitting in them or cutoffs of sky in the sun there. Dark rounder areas like this one. Cutoffs of the sun like this one. Dark side, just like that first picture. Great big shadow. Also non-illuminated non-illuminated dark areas in the sky. Great big dark shadows. Cutoffs that are in a blue sky that are not illuminated. All right, let's check out some full day footage. Now, as the sun comes up, you can see how it's wrapping around. And please ignore these red flares and stuff. They're just from the lens and the sun hitting the lens and the sun hitting the, you know, the housing that the camera sits in. I know a lot of other channels still have their head in the sand about you know flares and whatnot but they're really nothing so ignore them every chance you get not the other channels but the flares and if that means ignoring the other channels that's fine too I mean we're looking at areas of sky that are just not receiving the light that they should be I mean look at these sunsets they're crazy you see how all that lights just going nuts I mean, the, it, the light's reflecting off of something that's not blue sky. I mean, otherwise it wouldn't be reflecting. Let's take another look at that. See how all that light's reflecting through there? Lots of light reflecting all day long, casting shadows. See all that light's reflecting off what should be empty blue sky? Alright, another full day footage. See how the sun comes up here? And all this area back in here. It's like the sun just pops over the top of it all. It starts being deflected here, as you can see. Lots of reflecting light after sunset. Here's another full day footage. Well, most of the day footage, they did cut out the uh, sunset part, and I do apologize for that, but the uh, areas of shade are, were too good to let go. Another full day footage. The sun comes up and over to the top of the camera. See how everything is so bright and then goes so dark. <laughs> See all, all of this over here is much darker areas of sky. Yeah, they cut it off at the wrong time. I thought so too. Now this is also looking west at sunrise. It's all day footage as well. As you can see, when the sun first came up, it was really bright over here, reflecting a lot of light. As it is still reflecting a lot of light. Here's another all day footage looking west. Here's 
And as the sun comes up and over, you can see this great big shadow. You can see the light breaking around this area. See that? And it gets really bright after sunset as the light does get below. And also here, you can see this darker area with the light all right here. Now, that was all before the sun came up. Did you see how much light was just bouncing off everything up there? And then it got really pinched. Let's back that up and take another look. See all this area is much more shaded. You know, the light reflecting off of all this, all of this. It's like it illuminated something long before the sun ever even came up. Look at all this light. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you'd say the sun was already up. And then it came up. <laughs> and you can see the rounded shadows of other things in the sky. As the sun finally comes out from behind the clouds. But you can see this whole area over here is just dark. The sun is having a real hard time with that. And it never does illuminate over there, no matter how much blue sky or clouds are over there. Next location. Now watch this, this is kind of crazy. At first we see a shadow right there as the sun is coming up. We see more shadow. We see the sun coming up from around the backside of something here. Actually, the sun comes up right over here. But you see how much of illumination was going on well before the sun ever came up, just like in the last footage. You see how much light is just going everywhere. And as the sun comes up, you can still see the shadow here. And it's breaking all the way across the top of it now, as you can see. And there's the sun finally, well above. See how this area over here is in the dark still? See how all of that? This cloud's moving from the shaded area into the light. Here's another sunrise. Lots of reflecting light from behind the clouds. And in my opinion, if there wasn't something back there, there wouldn't be so much light coming from behind the clouds before the sun ever made it up. I mean, look how much dark area is right here. Look at all that. So much light going everywhere. I oh, finally got a few sprinkles on the camera. And last location. I just thought this was a very interesting sunrise. As the sun comes up, you can see it's still behind something. No matter how many clouds are there, the shadow remains. Shadow remains. See the darkened area of sky? Sun's right there. Why isn't this all illuminated? See? See how the light's just stopping right there? Anyway, thanks for watching. Please share. Look at this shadow line going. Absolutely incredible. It's all about the shadows. Anything between us and the sun, we'll be casting them. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.